Hey guys, welcome back. Today is going to be number seven, our workout day number seven. You've technically been doing this for two weeks so far, so I'm so proud of you guys for coming this far. Here is our calendar in case you guys want to screenshot it and it tells you what workouts to do every day for this month or whenever you start it. And I have a little message for you guys before we start this workout. And you guys, <laughs> I'm done working out now. I just finished doing this, so I'm really sweaty. But, um... I want you all to do 15 to 30 minutes of cardio before you do every single workout video this week. So you can either walk for 30 minutes, run for 30 minutes, jump rope, you can dance, you can do anything that you want that's going to get your body moving before you start this workout. All of this week's workouts are just going to be modified versions of our week one workouts. So what I'm going to do instead of taking the time to do the exact same workout and edit it the exact same way, I'm just going to put in our last video that I already have posted and add in extra workouts to it. So it's gonna go back and forth between that and um, they're gonna be similar, but we're gonna make them a little bit harder. All right, we're gonna start off with high knees and we're just adding a cardio portion to the beginning of our regular workout already just to get you sweating before this. And now we're gonna go into regular jumping jacks. We're just getting our body moving before we get into the toning exercises because cardio and sweating, how we do when we do cardio, is what's really gonna make you lose weight and notice a difference. Also, disclaimer, I look bad <laughs> because I took last week off since I was filming and editing every day. I was like, I need a break for a little bit. So I was not following the challenge last week. Oh my goodness, I apologize. <laughs> but I'm starting it again this week. Now we're going to move into squat jumps. I showed you guys a little side view just so you know what's going on. You're just squatting and jumping, basically. All right, now we're coming down and we're going to go into mountain climbers. We're almost done with this really quick cardio portion and then we're going to get into our normal toning exercises that you guys should already be familiar with. All right, now we're going to stand up and start our other video how I said we were doing before. And we're just going to get right into it. So we're doing these walking side lunges. You're basically just going to squat and move your legs to the sides. And I know this video is a little long, but I promise you it's going to show you guys results after these 30 days. So we're going to get through it. I got through it and I love this workout because it really makes me sweat. I decided to give you guys a side view just so you guys know what's going on. Just squatting down. Try to go as low as you can, but you don't really need to as long as you have that resistant band and you're really feeling it. And now we're going to move into squatting but walking. Basically the same thing, but you're kind of going to step back and forth. This takes a little bit of getting used to and finding a rhythm to it, but it's okay. We're all going to do this, and this one makes it a little bit more fun. And just so you guys know, this workout video is a combination of other YouTubers' workouts that I've known to love, along with a few of my own. So if you recognize some of these workouts, that's most definitely why. And if your resistant band keeps falling, just make sure you can pull it back up or down whichever way it's going and keep going on. So now we're going to go into this runner's position and we're just going to push our leg up. And moving on to the other side, doing the same thing. And 
awesome work guys i know you guys are feeling it so am i we're gonna keep going we're gonna do these squat jumps these really make your legs burn along with all these other workouts so i know we're all dying right now but i promise you guys keep pushing All right, y'all, keep it going. Now we're going to do these running in place jumps, and you're really going to feel this in your thighs and your glutes, but we're going to keep going. Alright, and I know we're really tired from jumping around, so feel free to take a water break whenever you want to throughout this video. Just make sure you don't stop, and I want you to complete this whole thing just like me. Alright, after your water break, you can go ahead and pick a weight or a water bottle or a pop bottle, whatever you have. I'm using weights, but again, it's optional. You cannot use anything if you'd like to, and we're doing these lunge and arm pulls. And it might be a little bit easier for you to walk and do these. I didn't really have a lot of room, so I had to stay in one place. So it was kind of hard to get in the rhythm of things. It can also be kind of hard to keep your balance during this. So make sure your two feet are on the floor and you're really controlled and slow. All right, and moving on to the other side, same thing, controlled, you guys. And you want to make sure you're coming all the way up to stand straight. That's really working your leg. All right, now we're gonna get on the ground, and this one takes a little bit getting used to. Once again, with that weight, where you're gonna lift up your arm twice and then lift up that back leg while you lift up your arm. Try to stay controlled, it's really hard. And then after that, we're gonna reach forward, push our leg out, and come back in. And we're gonna repeat this as many times as you can, only a couple times, because it is really difficult. And I was really struggling during this, so it's all about squeezing those muscles. All right, flipping around after doing that a couple of times and repeating the same thing, but with the other arm and leg. All right, and now without a weight, we're just going to do donkey kicks going straight up and tapping your toe on the ground. And now we're going to bend our knee in and do the same thing, but with our knee bent.
And now we're going to move into fire hydrants. So you're just going to keep your knee bent and just move your leg out to the side of you. And now we're moving on to the other side, starting with donkey kicks again. And now bending that knee and still kicking your leg up. And then I flipped around just so you guys could see, but we're going back into these fire hydrants. And now we're going to turn around and lay on our backs and do these bridges. We're just first going to start with a hold. And now we're going to add some motions into it. So what you're going to do is come down and touch your butt to the floor and then come back up and separate your legs there. All right, we're going to get back up, put those weights down, and do these jumping jacks while you jump. So you're going to jump jack, jump jack, you're going to do a jumping jack twice, and then just jump up normally with your legs together. And the way I'm sweating, ugh, this is how you know it's working, so it's okay. Once again, you guys, feel free to take a break, drink some water whenever you feel like it, and then whenever you're ready, we're going to do these sumo squat poles with your hand. So you're going to squat down with your weight and then go up with your hand and sideways. You can also bend your leg with your body when you bend that arm that way. All right, we're almost done. I know it feels like we've been doing this forever. I know your arms and glutes are burning. Take a water break, whatever you need, and get right back to it. Just don't give up. Same thing, other side.
All right, you guys are awesome. We're going to get on the mat like how we were before in a lunging position with our weight or water bottle, whatever you have at home. And we're just going to swing our arms back and forth really controlled and bend those elbows so you feel those muscles pull. All right, same thing, other side. This is honestly one of my favorite exercises. I just love the way it feels, and you can tell it's working. All right, I flipped around to show you guys this next one. We're kind of in the same position, except you're just pulling your arm up and you're not twisting around your body. Make sure your form is really good on this. Make sure your back is straight and you're squeezing your stomach. All right, other side, take your time, guys. Just do not give up. Squeeze those abs and make sure your back is pulled straight back. You're really going to feel it in your back muscles, your arm muscles, and even your legs. All right, another water break if you need it. I know you guys want to give up, but do not because I didn't and you can't. If I can do it, you can do it. We're going to lay back on our backs and we're going to put one leg up and we're going to work on our abs right now. So we're just going to reach up and touch that toe. I'm not the most flexible person, so it is kind of difficult to keep your leg up. But if you are more flexible, awesome. And I'm sure you guys have a much better form than I do. this one hurts so we are done with that leg give it a second and then do the other one same thing really squeeze those abs you guys we got this get pumped guys we're working out <laughs> All right, and now we're going to stay kind of in the same position. We're just going to pulse up with a one leg up. This is very, very difficult. So if you can't do it with the one leg up, feel free to put your legs down and just do a normal bridge pulse. But if you really want to push yourself, go ahead and put that leg up. It literally burns so bad. <laughs> and then here's how you would do it with your legs down, just a normal bridge pulse. All right, switching legs, putting the next leg up and pulsing again. Once again, if you don't do it without the leg, just continue doing that bridge pulse.
flipping around into a plank position whenever you're ready we're going to lift one arm up and open up our chest this one's all about balance so it is kind of difficult you could reach your full arm up or keep it bent but when you reach it up you kind of fall over a little bit so just keep your balance as hard as you can And then the same thing, other side. All right, we're going to get up and we're going to do these little squat pulses. So basically, you're just going to bend over the slightest bit and then just pulse your knees a little bit. You're kind of like following a series of three motions. So you're just going to bend over a little bit, pulse those knees and come back up. All right, picking up those weights one more time, we're going to do these bending squat pulses. You're basically just going to bend over and pulse your knees, squat them a little tiny bit. Not a full squat down, but just slightly bend those knees. And if you are doing this with a water bottle or something that is not a weight, you can do one and just hold it in the middle. And then just to give you a side view so you know what's going on, just slightly bend those knees when you bend over. All right, and then still standing up, put your one arm behind your back so you can keep your balance there and lift the one weight up and down touching the ground while slightly bending your knees kind of in a runner's position. And then back into those squats how we were doing before, before we go ahead and do the other leg. So as I said, if you have one weight or one water bottle or something that you're using instead of two weights, you can do one in the middle and you're just going to squat down. This time we're kind of bending down a little bit more into more of a sumo squat. All right, setting down one of the weights, we're going to do that runner's thing again, but with our other leg, so hand behind your back, kind of in that runner's position, reach down with that weight and pull it back up. All right, and we are so close to being over, you guys, so I'm so happy that you have not given up yet and do not give up until the end. So we're going to lay on the floor and go into abs. We're just going to do these crunches, just really push out as many as you can in this time. You can do them with your legs crossed, legs up, legs down, however you would like. This is how I personally like to do them and push these out, you guys.
All right, staying on the floor, we're just going to do bicycle crunches. Really reach out that leg and fold up as much as you can, trying to get that elbow to your knee. And then turning over to one side, cross one leg over and one leg in the back, and we're going to do side crunches. This is, again, one of my favorite exercises. Like, I love these. Really push them out. These are easy to get through really fast. So go as fast as you can and do as many as you can in this time. All right, flipping over, same thing, other side. We're almost done, I promise. Seriously, this time we are seriously almost done. Keep going, don't give up. I will be so disappointed in you if you give up. Keep going. <laughs> All right, flipping over into a plank. Y'all already know we're going to try to hold this for 20 seconds, 30 seconds, as long as you can. Try to get your form good. Keep your butt low. Don't be sticking up your butt or your back. I know it's kind of hard, but we're going to do it. This one's super easy. Literally just sit there. Calm your mind. All right, and then you can take one second off, but go right back to that plank position and do plank twists. These really, really, really work your abs and obliques, so push them out. And flip in over on your back. We're going to do heel touches. Really push these out. These are super easy and they feel awesome. So keep going. I promise you we're actually almost done. And the rest of these exercises are the easiest. This is kind of like your cool down. So everything before this was really hard. And we are almost done with abs as well. Which I find to be the hardest. All right, guys, very last ab exercise. Push it out. We're going to do these crossover crunches. You really feel these, so keep it going. And now we're going to go straight into sit-ups, so just crunch up normally. And now moving into bicycle crunches. And then laying on our side, we're going to go into side oblique crunches. And now I'm flipping to the other side and doing the same thing.
And now we're going to flip over and go into mountain climbers. And now we're going to go straight down into a plank. Try to keep your form good and your butt low. And now we're going to move into plank twists. All right. I'm so, so, so proud of you. We are almost done. We just have our very last leg portion, which is the easiest in my opinion. These exercises are super easy. We're just going to lay on our side and lift up that one leg. You can go as slow as you'd like to really push this out. You really feel this and this will slim down your legs. Staying in the same position, we're just going to do circles now, so literally just draw a circle with your legs. And now folding that leg in, and we're going to do these open and close, whatever you want to call it. Just open and close your legs and leave a little gap in the middle because you'll really, really feel this. This is working your glutes and your inner thighs, and I know it burns, but keep going. The trick here is go slow. All right. Done with that side, we're flipping around doing the same thing starting with these leg rises. And like I said guys, these ones are not that hard. These are your cool down exercises. You're not sweating, but they're burning so you know that they're working. But we're kind of letting ourselves breathe here. All right, now doing circles. Folding your leg in, we're going to do these open and closes, leaving a little window in between your thighs.
Okay, we are so close to being finished. Flipping over and we're just going to do one inner thigh exercise. Cross that top leg over and just lift that bottom leg up doing leg rises but with your inner thigh. All right, you can give your leg a little stretch and we're gonna turn around and do the same thing with the other side. All right, all right, all right. We are almost, almost, almost done. Two more exercises and they're super easy. We're going to lay on our back, put your legs up and kind of just kick one leg up and the other leg up. This looks kind of ridiculous and I don't really know how to explain it, but I promise you, you really feel this and it's kind of like a really good cool down exercise that I love. Okay, very, very, very last exercise. Just put that one leg out and lift it up. And this one is super easy. And we're just kind of cooling down those muscles. I'm so, so proud of you guys for making it this far. This is a long, long workout. And you guys made it. But don't give up just yet. Push these last ones out. These ones matter. Switching legs, we're going to finish up on this side. I'm so excited you guys finished i'm so 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 proud of you i cannot believe you made it to the end but actually i can't believe it because i knew you could do it from the beginning grab that water and i will see you guys on the next day peace out